Ever since the creation of the first cryptocurrency, Bitcoin, there has been an increase in the number of blockchains that exist to date. Why is that so? Every new blockchain network tries to solve problems which are not yet solved by Bitcoin. In this video, I am focusing on two blockchain networks, Ripple and the Zinfin hybrid blockchain. So let's try to understand these two blockchains, starting with Zinfin. Zinfin is an open source network built on a hybrid framework to sustain global financial use cases, including cross-border trade and settlement. It combines the best features of public and private blockchain and provides smart contracts that can be incorporated to develop secure applications and helps with various features like escrow, stablecoin deployment, auto-trigger payment based on contract, just to name a few. On the other hand, RippleNet is a network of institutional payment entities comprising banks and other financial institutions which make use of the RippleNet to send or receive cross-border payments seamlessly. Let's compare the technology aspects of these two networks. Both Ripple and Zinfin have closely competing transaction time, but Zinfin gains an edge with 2,000 transactions per second over Ripple's 1.5 transactions per second. Both networks are planning to expand their transactions per second using various solutions like sharding. Additionally, the block creation time is exactly half of that of Ripple. The total token supply of Ripple is 100 billion, while Zinfin XDC has a total of 37 billion. Zinfin network allows staking of XDC tokens and users can set up a masternode for an incentive. Ripple does not offer staking and hosting of masternodes. Both networks have partnership with R3. Zinfin network bends part of their revenue generated from use cases like block degree and trade phoenix. Ripple has no token burn feature. Last but not least, both projects have experienced teams that support the networks. We will not dive into the teams, but a quick look into the senior executives from both projects. Dilip Rao was Ripple's global head of infrastructure innovation. Raho helped Ripple partner with central banks and financial market infrastructures to help them embark on their journey to utilize the distributed ledger technology. On the other hand, Andrew Kasterman, who has 30 years of experience in the financial space, is an expert advisor at Zenfin and also manages market engagement for hybrid blockchain systems. Much of his experience comes from working for more than 20 years with SWIFT where he led the global innovation in interbank payments. Although there are a lot of other differences between Ripple and Zenfin, I hope this video gave you a better understanding of the two blockchain networks. If you like this video, make sure you subscribe, like and share it with other blockchain enthusiasts. Remember to let me know what you think in the comments below. I am Confidence Nirender and this is Zenfin Hybrid Blockchain. See you next time.